Hello my lovely peaches. So I just made and shared a video of my new mini jungle on my Love Living Peach channel and I want to share it on my Love Living Peach dream channel which is what this is. So I decided let me just make a quick additional hello hello just to make the video a tiny bit different. <laughs> The video is not different. It's the same, except for this part is added. So I can add it to my second channel without feeling like I'm just sharing the same exact video on both channels. <laughs> All right, so I'll make it a little bit different. So this is um, actually, let's see if you can see any better with the light. This is one of the succulents. So I work at a flower shop. And his primary focus is flowers. <laughs> He's flowers and gifts. Um, he has occasionally had plants, dish gardens, and he sells them. And it was him who brought the plant in the other day. Um, it's called a peace lily or a staff phylum or something like that. So anyway, I kind of wanted to do some comparison shopping and see, you know, I'm going to get some plants from a variety of places and see what do I get, what's the quality, what's the size, what the container is, and I want to, of course, see what I can get from through my job. So this one I got from Whole Foods, actually, on a Prime Now, um, and it came in a pot that did not have holes let me go grab it real quick. So it came in this pot, five and a half inch succulent pot, and there's no holes. You can see there's no holes. Um, and it's a pretty cool looking pot. It'd be better if it had a hole. I watched a video of someone showing himself drilling a hole with his drill. I could maybe do that. But so the problem was that this fit like perfectly inside of it but then whoops it's dripping um whoa shit uh, working in a flower shop there's a lot of water working in a restaurant you get wet and food on you and being a gardener you're gonna get wet and there's dirt on my bedroom floor now Okay, so you can see like all along the bottom edge, the, a lot of these leaves snapped in half because the pot itself was breaking it. So I, the other one that I have that I show in the video that's going to be attached to this, it's much smaller. And um, I was able to take this part out of this and put four little rocks down to create some space so it can actually drain. And as long as I can take this out and make sure that it's um, draining, then it's okay for now to use a pot with no holes. Well, you know, I think that's only good when they're not that big or when there's a really big space so they really it really does drain. So this one is gonna need to be repotted um, so for now, I'm just going to keep it out because I you see that it's um, it's like soaking. <gasps> oh, but I just love having plants, and soon I will. I don't know how soon, but over time I will have plants everywhere. <laughs> Enjoy my mini plant jungle, newly acquired, which will play right after this. Hello, my beautiful lovelies. How are you? I am about to show off my growing collection of plants. And I am so in love with them. And I can't wait to grow more plants and acquire more. Okay, so this one is an Alberta spruce that we got at Christmas, which is intending 
intended to live forever. We named him George Gerard. And this is, I showed this yesterday, this is our Spider Wart Wandering Jew Transcentia. It's beautiful. And then, ta da! I, uh, I received my brand new Boston fern, which is so amazing and gorgeous. It's a 10 inch Boston fern. But this is cat safe. I also got this last night a beautiful succulent in a pot that does not have holes. And let's see what else. Oh, the money tree, which is here, also in a pot without holes. So I'm going to invest in better pots that have holes over time so that my plants can thrive and not get root rot. And then this is a succulent. Unfortunately, the pot damaged a lot of the leaves, but it's still gorgeous. And so this is our mini collection for now. I can't wait to have much more of a jungle feel in here. It's, it's starting. This is our mini jungle starting and I am loving it. Absolutely love my plants and looking forward to thriving and blooming and growing. See you next time. Okay, one more thing. So on my video channel, on my YouTube channel, Love Living Peach, if you go way back, you'll see a video of me and my kids um, painting garden rocks. I made that. This is actually painted white and black. It just looks like a dark rock, but it's painted white and black. So this is a project, Garden Rocks, that we did um, for the dream I have of having a garden, many gardens, including Garden Rocks, painted Garden Rocks. So in this box of painted Garden Rocks, uh, are some painted garden rocks and there are some unpainted rocks this is all black well my son painted it black so the point is I what I want to do is I want to use this pot for now but so I was gonna put these <laughs> rocks the box of rocks down. Get the rock I just draw. My out of tune love. Okay. So I have a few rocks, but then I was thinking, well, I don't want it to be too low. I want it to stick up. I want it to stick up high enough so that it's not going to keep re-damaging. So I just found my box of rocks. These are kind of nice. Let me see. Ugh. And in here there are some rocks that I acquired that we never painted. And I thought to myself, here's one that's painted. I thought to myself, hey, where's my box of rocks? I can stack a few rocks in here and create some air and some space. So 
Uh, sometimes on my walks, if I would find rocks, I'd stick them in my bag and uh, take them home, which is fun, but it can also be heavy. You know, there is some stuff in here. Uh, let's see. So I want it to be high. High, so that my plant has some space for its beautiful leaves. Let's see how this is. Alright, let's see how this will go. Ooh. Uh, all right, that's good. You know, it's not like all beautiful and professional looking, but at least I can use the pot instead of this damn paper plate. <laughs> and the, the succulent will dry out. Now, I also, I watched a video about what kind of pots to use for what kind of plants and terracotta and ceramic pots that absorb water and breathe when they have air holes, drainage holes, are really good for, for plants that love to be dry, like a cactus, and a plastic one that holds moisture and stays wet is not good for the cactus, so this is going to need to be repotted soon. And a fern that likes to be wet and, and um, humid and moist likes plastic because plastic retains moisture and does not like terracotta or clay pots. So I am learning. I am a newbie, 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 newbie baby. I'm practically not even born yet as far as any horticulture, gardening, plant knowledge, plant care, but I am learning with passion and I am excited about having a healthy obsession. Look how beautiful. <sighs> so, whoops. With every wanted thing comes unknown unwanted and sometimes known unwanted. For example, I know that, uh, you know, I don't want bugs. <laughs> I'm not, I don't want a ton of dirt in my house, but I guess it's going to happen. Actually, I want to buy a thing with a shovel, like just like I saw uh, the succulent scientist, I think her name was, on YouTube. All right, these are pretty rocks. I'm not going to. And, uh, yeah. So probably my videos will start to include plant stuff. And I know it looks kind of funny, but like I said, I'd like to be able to use the pot, but definitely give this thing some room to grow and reheal. And then I look forward to learning how to propagate my plants. And and have that method, which I know is going to require a ton of love, a ton of patience, and then some more patience, 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 patience. And the reward of patience is patience. And that is one of my favorite sayings because what it means is the reward of patience is patience means when you truly learn to be patient, the reward of that is actually being patient and when you have this patience which means uh, an ability to remain equanimous or balanced even when you have to wait for stuff and knowing that that's part of the joy and the cycle of life is growing things and knowing that they take time just like love relationships with people just like learning how you're going to earn money in the best way for yourself, learning what your gifts are that you can work on to become abundant and to spread love in the world. And I am so happy to finally be embodying this part of my personality, which has been desiring and yearning to bloom and come forth and to be realized and actualized in my physical self which is to be a gardener ever since I was the littlest little 
and I'm finally letting myself do it. And I hope that you start to let yourself do something that you've always wanted to do that other people didn't care about or they poo-pooed or they discouraged you or they just fucking mowed over your fucking garden, which is what actually happened to me when I was a young teenager. I decided to plant a bunch of stuff in the yard and then my mom, in her stressed out, got three jobs and always doing everything around the house and everything with the kids and everything. She mowed over my shit and was like... Oh, well, I ain't got time for that. Ain't nobody got time for that. <laughs> so now I'm making time, and I'm not resentful that my mother didn't have time to even fucking care that she mowed over my garden when I was a kid. And I'm finally doing this for myself. So I hope that this is encouragement to you to go buy yourself a little plant or five or ten and or go do whatever it is that you always wanted to do but you never did because somebody mowed over your shit and didn't care and then you internalized that as if it was a reflection on the lack of value of your desire and just like with dancing you can check me out on my other channel and see all of my I am just going to dance for myself in my own fucking house or in the in the park or wherever I am and I'm not going to allow other people's previous versions of what they thought was acceptable and how I internalized that to become what I thought was acceptable or what I thought I was capable of and now I am saying I am capable of being a gardener, I am capable of being a dancer, I am capable of being financially abundant, I am capable of being love abundant and so are you and I am capable of expanding my willingness and ability to love myself and y'all motherfuckers too. <laughs> Bye! Thank you for subscribing and for supporting me and sharing my journey. And I am looking forward to getting all kinds of <clears throat> new information and new plant friends. <laughs>